All right, we're talking about striking in grappling ranges. And yes. um, it's not always what you think it is, but sometimes it is what you think it is. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? And my, my feeling about it, especially from the ground portion, is about striking to advanced position. Aaron's got some thoughts too, of course, uh, yes. more about the standing portion. Though. Yeah, definitely like uh, standing in on the ground. I think the biggest thing that with striking in general, I feel like most people when they're they're squared up and they're thinking about striking, they're thinking about like the knockout blow, right? Yeah. It's like, I'm standing across, it's like, I gotta really take this dude out. But I need to, in my opinion, where I start people is, I need to hit them. Like I need to land a strike. Mm -hmm. Then I can worry about how hard the strikes are gonna be. I can start, you know, baiting them, moving them, getting them outside of that. So I, th my thought is we're in the same, idea yeah because right? if we're in this really tight range and we're we're tied up even just like bicep ties and stuff like that like if i go oh i want to load back and hit you you see that coming from a mile away right right but if i'm here and i understand that i can do like a little chief bang like knuckles to the face maybe even get back into position and i start getting you to focus on oh like oh shit oh shit oh shit you start to create more space i can fill that space with heavier punches right. or to your regard I can fill that space by advancing position or hitting a takedown. Or yeah, that, that's points. the whole thing. I think that's one of the most efficient, in a grappling range, that's one of the more efficient things because you don't have the space and velocity. The big knockout shots are gonna come from typically somewhere the trajectory and the velocity can build up behind it a lot of the time. Now, of course, you know, there's little pinpoint accuracy things, but they're gonna respond to that. So it's gonna open spaces for me where there weren't uh, opportunities before, and that's gonna help me to advance position sometimes. And that's gonna close spaces that are gonna be beneficial to you. So now you're gonna be restricted in your movement. So then I'm gonna be able to like get some kind of advantage over that. So in the same kind of vein, this is something that I was looking at from a striking position. We started from the guard the other night, we were talking about this. And I like this idea because if, if I, when I first get to the guard position, I wanna, First of all, negate his punches or his mitigate his ability to strike very effectively. But I'm not going to be able to advance my position too easily until I, I get some kind of semblance of posture. So if I want to start to pass the guard, I'm going to have to posture up here. Now this is, as long as I get tall enough, I'm fighting with gravity, he's fighting against gravity. So this is a good thing for me. So what will happen a lot of the time from here, exactly, he's going to start trying to fight my wrist. Because when he sees that he can't really, this cover is just like a, a band-aid. He's, he's not going to really like, uh, shut down too much of the damage. So if he starts grabbing at my wrists and stuff here, yeah, this is a common thing whenever I start trying to get this. Now I'm playing tug of war and if I if I try to pull free like too, too abruptly, then I may actually free his hand up. Now I'm gonna eat a shot. So instead here, this is a, a cool little sequence that I was using for guard pass the other night. And I'm gonna kind of pretend my forearms are on rails and I'm gonna go straight up here this way. So that's this already, as I'm going up, I'm going back here, I'm gonna roll over Boom, now I can throw the elbow. What the elbow does, it lands a little shot and it might be might do a lot of damage, might do a little, might do none, but what it does do is it frees up my wrist, bam, on this side here. Now, this one's free, I'm gonna come back free this one here. Boom, throw another one. Now, look, once here, now I've already started my, my passing uh, kind of protocol here. So at this point, I'm gonna stand. Since I got this double wrist control on this side, I'm gonna stand up like this because uh, now he's not going to grab at this leg here. I like to get all the way to standing because now if I want to throw other shots, now he's going to get to cover, right? And so now we can start to come in and I'm using that striking to advance my position. So it's not necessarily about knocking him out with every single shot. If that happens, it's fantastic. Yeah. But if it doesn't, at least I'm getting the responses that are going to really help to navigate me through the different positions like that. Yeah. So that's what I feel like is a really efficient use of striking on the ground. Yeah, and there's uh, there's two like two components in there that we can even isolate more because I know this is is I guess more of a theory video and discussion. But if we can isolate two things, we can actually practice and drill. One of them is that push pull, like the the opposites. Even when people catch hands or or like push down hands like standing. Yeah. We have a tendency to want our hands back. Yeah. So we like push or we pull rather with both. But if I go push pull mm -hmm. and strip in opposite directions, yeah. you'll 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 get them because you're separating, splitting their attention as well. So they can't they're not just countering one energy, they're actually feeling both. So that like you'll find that, you know, in these regards here, where I'll tell people, like, if I'm gonna go this way to go to make this hit, or if I'm gonna go this way to go to make this hit, I usually will create push and pull. Like both will actually go together. So if you do, you know, happen to catch my hands or in, if I'm going to go this, yeah, here, instead of just going bang, where you're just having to focus on not getting punched in the head here, 
I'm gonna not only hit, but I'm also gonna pull this one down, which is then gonna allow me opportunities to hit there. I'm splitting yeah. your attention. So that's one, I think push-pull, mm -hmm. the idea of like separating the two together. Yeah. And then the, I like how you said, like on a track or on a rail. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. we'll use this a lot where like, I'll just lean in tight mm -hmm. from standing. And now you can already see like eyes closed, you know, whatever, you know, dark hood pulled over my head. Jean-Claude Van Damme in the eyes, I can't see, whatever. <laughs> but here, this is his chest. I know for a fact that his chin is right here, right? So I don't need to, not only am I taking away the fact that I need to see something, but I can just hit this rail, I can punch, boom, straight in. And even in tight spaces, even in fill lengths and perspectives, you get that shot. It's especially helpful because like I have deep indention of, <laughs> it's, of muscle. It is literally a rail. Like, yeah. it's, I can feel that. Yeah. Yeah. So that actually works against me in a fight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So filling, so like two little components, you can break away from that. This like this idea of pull one, push one, yeah. right? Which I can take advantage of. I can set up takedowns. I can fill space for striking if I want to. I can advance position, right? But then also this idea of like riding the track. Right, so even if I'm in this bicep tie, instead of like peeling away to make my shot here, well, if we're in clinch range, sometimes vision's not exactly there, but I can ride this track along the bicep to the shoulder to get to the head, right? And then I can go in and I can move to the next thing if I want to. I can find positions to go to shoot here. I can track elbows in those really, really tight spaces to be able to fill and follow in those lines, right? Nice, so, I like it. Yeah. So it's somewhere between Tai Chi, uh, Wing Chun, and Sistema. Kind of it, all well, definitely way. Sistema. It's definitely the, the majority of it's Sistema. sistema. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, cool. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more self defense fighting and fitness principles to keep you fit to fight like these guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Whoa!